Hello everybody, uh, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video we are going through uh, the second tab of the ASUS RT-AX82U advanced settings. We made a video on the first general tab. Now this is on the second, third and additional tabs. This router is so powerful and so complex and it has so many features that it takes more than one video to cover everything. All right, so let's go to the second tab. So we have already covered the general tab. Now we are covering WPS. If you haven't seen the general tab, please go to my previous video and check that out. And uh, the second tab, which is WPS, is simply to connect devices instead of entering the Wi-Fi uh, SSID and password, you simply press the button on the device and then you press the button right here, the start where it says uh, right here, or you could press the button in the back of the router right here. This is the button that you're going to press in order to connect the router with another device. Now, let's see uh, uh, how this works. In order to uh, connect let's say you have a wireless printer wireless tablet wireless phone or whatever that is supposed it it is supposed to be WPS compatible in order to link or connect to your router without having to enter the SSID or password uh, now uh, once you connect uh, push the button for that uh, device it will ask you for the pin and the pin code will be displayed uh, right uh, on the display of your printer wireless printer or any other device and you will enter the pin code right here and you start the link linking or the connection uh, if you do it physically with a button then you simply press the button uh, on the device and you press the button uh, on the back of the router and you're good to go now this is for 2.4 gigahertz in order to change it to 5 gigahertz you have to turn it first off right now this is on you have to turn it off only then you will be given the option to switch between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz that's something to remember and um, that's basically all that is about WPS now let's go and jump to WDS WDS is simply a fancy name for router bridging uh, or connecting two routers together in order to extend your coverage so normally, under normal conditions, you would link a router with another router using um, uh, a LAN cable from the output of one router to the input of the, f from the output of the original router to the input of the second router. That's how you would do. But with with wireless bridge, you can do that uh, as in a wireless manner without any cables. However, there is a couple of things that you need to keep in consideration when you're doing this. Number one, the first router has to be an, um, an uh, DHCP mode, assigning IP addresses to devices, but the second router, which is just for extension, needs to be an uh, access point mode with the DHCP disabled. Remember, you have to disable the DHCP on the second router. The first router will assign IP addresses even, even for those devices that are connected to the second router. So keep that in mind because that is very important. The first router uh, will assign IP addresses to all devices regardless which router they're attached to. Otherwise, if you don't do that, th the two routers will create their own uh, little network separate and isolated from each other and it's very hard to link a printer let's say you have a printer in another room or another place in your office uh, and you want to print it from a computer that's connected to the first router you will have a hard time finding that printer when it's on a completely different set of network uh, work work group okay so that's one thing that you need to make sure so this for this section I believe this is enough because uh, I don't want the video to be too boring and long, but I will come back and create additional uh, videos on these tabs that we haven't covered yet. 
Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for future videos. Like and subscribe if you want to be notified about the future videos uh, about this router. Thank you.